Welcome to the lecture, Theory of Fusion versus Asatis. Now, so many times people get confused whether it is Theory of Fusion or Asatis. The problem comes when fluid is close to the region of the diaphragm. Now, in order to understand the differences between the two, a very basic thing should be very clear to you. Any fluid in contact with abdominal viscera like liver, spleen, bowel loops, urinary bladder, uterus, that is a situs. And if fluid is in contact with a collapsed lung or lung, I'll say, that is pleural effusion. So, in case you can make out lung area and you see fluid around it, very simple. It's pleural effusion. And if you can make out abdominal viscera, it is ascites. Now, sometimes you are not able to make out any collapsed lung. And then the problem comes. So, we have to know the other finer points as well. Let us see this chest x ray. Now, whenever there is free fluid, it is going to go to the most dependent area, which are these areas, costophrenic angle. And you can make out the costophrenic angle on the right side is facing the extreme right, and on the left side, it is extreme left. Now, let us go onto this picture, and here you can make out that the probe is kept transversely here, and we are getting a transverse section with the liver on top. And this is the right side and this is the left side. Here we have the screen. And you can make out that this is pleural effusion. Very clearly, by just seeing this collapsed lung. Here, collapsed lung. So we don't need to go to any other details. And just by seeing a collapsed lung and fluid around it, we can make out that this is pleural effusion. Now, still, we like to go to the other points as well. In case we are not able to make out this collapse lung, we can rely on the other points. Let us see the other points. Now here you can see that in transverse section, this fluid has an angle which is pointing towards extreme right. This is the right side and this is the left side. So it is toward extreme right on this, in this picture. Again, this is a transverse section and here you can see extreme left. Yes? The other thing you can make out that there is a thick bright area here and there's another thick bright area here. Now what this bright area represents here? Here the bright area is representing the diaphragm and the parietal layer of pleura which is in contact with the diaphragm. Here it is a visceral pleura and you all know that fluid between the parietal and the visceral pleura is pleural effusion. So we have thick bright areas on both sides. One representing the visceral pleura, other representing the diaphragm and the parietal pleura in contact with it. So we have fluid in contact with a collapsed lung and we have fluid surrounded by thick bright areas on both sides and we have fluid with an angle facing extreme right on the right side and extreme left on the left side. Let us see this picture. This is a transfer section where again you can make out that there is fluid here. We cannot make out the collapsed lung very clearly but we can make out that the angle yeah, there is a liver, the extreme right here. And we also have thick bright areas on both sides. Here it represents the diaphragm along with the parietal layer of pleura. And here there is a visceral layer of pleura. Now this is a long tunnel section. Here what do you find? Liver is here. This is a diaphragm along with the parietal layer of pleura. And this is superior to it. And superior to it we can see fluid. So, in a long tunnel section, we will be seeing fluid 
superior to the diaphragm while acidic fluid collection if it is there it will be inferior to the diaphragm so diaphragm is here superior side in longitudinal section here and this line represents extreme inferior so as we move from here to here we move from superior to inferior Let's see this fluid okay this is a transfer section and you find that the fluid is here which is in contact with the liver so it has to be ascites and the other thing you can make out that there's a thick bright area on one side and on the side the bright area is thin because this is a capsule of the liver so there's a difference in that case there was a thick bright area on both sides there are only on one side one more thing the angle in a transverse section of pleural effusion was pointing toward extreme right when we were getting the liver in the view now here you can see it is not pointing towards extreme right in fact it is going more towards the center see this picture as you can make out that that gall bladder is here very close to the diaphragm because the right lobe of the liver is shrunken and what you can make out that there is fluid close to the diaphragm and here we can make out these are the ball loops so fluid surrounding the ball loops it has to be ascites so once we see viscera abdominal viscera it has to be ascites once we see collapsed lung it has to be effusion we don't need to go into further details see this picture these are the long tunnel sections this is diaphragm here again here the diaphragm is seen here now in this long tunnel section you can see this side is superior this is inferior so we see fluid is superior to the diaphragm what does it mean pleural effusion see the diaphragm here and see the fluid here this is inferior on this side so this has to be ascites sometimes when there is a static fluid collection you may be able to get a further clue by seeing fluid here like in this case between the liver and the right kidney which is a morsel's pouch so fluid here again you can see liver and the right kidney this is the morsel's pouch so fluid within the morsel's pouch has to be a cytis see this video where you can make out this is a transfer section at the level of liver on the right side and you can see this is long tunnel section now and you can see fluid is superior to the diaphragm here this is transfer section you can see collapsed lung you can see thick bright areas on both sides and fluid the angle is pointing toward extreme right and then there's a sat if little bit of a sat as you can make out here thick bright area only on one side and the angle is not pointing towards extreme right in fact it is pointing towards the center here again see here you can see here this is that ascetic fluid collection and the angle is pointing more towards the center here it is extreme right this is pleural fusion this ascites now again here long tunnel section effusion diaphragm superior to the diaphragm collapsed lung so large amount of pleural fusion and very little of ascites you can make out in this view thank you